We made it. Yeah. We did even the doctor. <laughs> yeah, because like you never die because you can go to heaven and then she's a fairy. She's been like such a mummy's girl, hey babe? There's quite a few reasons why I've decided not to publish the book. Hello guys, so exciting. Our U Foods delivery has just arrived. As a busy mom, I just find this so nice and easy. As you guys know, I absolutely love U Foods. I have shared them before. So I thought I'd do a little unboxing with you guys and show you what I got this time. This is how it comes. It's got these little ice packs in here to keep everything nice and fresh. So we have got a beef musselman curry, the chicken and veg. I love this one, so yummy. Chicken katsu curry, Kurt loved this one last time. Beef lasagna, ooh, I haven't tried that one. Smoky barbecue chicken, this one last time. Absolutely loved it, this one. And the honey mustard chicken, so delicious. Some Portuguese chicken. As I'm unpacking it, I'm actually going to make myself some lunch as well. Which one do you want, babe? Barbecue. Oh, the barbecue. Do you really want to have that straight away or do you really want to like save it? Right you want it right now? I haven't tried this one before. Let's do that one. So the best thing about these meals as well, guys, is they are so quick and easy. So the Portuguese chicken only takes two and a half minutes in the microwave. That is it. All you do is peel back the corner, stick it in the microwave, and lunch is ready. You can use my code UMUM to receive up to $200 off your first five boxes. Thank you, UFoods, for sponsoring today's video. Hello, Mila. Hello. Hello. Where are we going to go? To the farm. What's your favorite part about the farm? Crocodile. Um, what? There's no crocodile. What about um, donut balls? Yeah, and I also want to see horse. My, my favorite thing at the farm is donut balls and horses and the baby chickens. Ooh. I love them. Yeah, if last, last time, time I pat them. Yeah, wonder if this time they'll be there, you reckon? Yeah, I reckon they will. They'll be cold last night, wouldn't they? Yeah. Or maybe their mum sat on them to keep them warm. What? <laughs> hey, you know, you I know. How about they put on a cover over them from the rain? Hey, Reggie. <laughs> what are you doing, Maka? Are you ready to go to the farm? I want to pick up. What are you doing? I want to pick up. Pick up where? I want to pick up. Do you understand what I was saying? What did you say? I said, I, I know you want to go outside, right? And he nodded his head like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then I said, do you want to go outside? And, he, and then he nodded his head again and said, yes. hey, I can't reach it. All right, I'll have a look for her. Do you want me to do it? Do you want me to do it? Daddy, I want one too. Good morning, guys. I have just been for my beautiful morning walk once again. Oh my gosh, the weather the last few days has just been absolutely amazing. Getting dressed and ready for my day. And see if Kurt comments on my perfume this morning. Honestly, guys, every single time I wear this perfume, he is like, what are you wearing? That smells so good. Reggie's been yelling out downstairs, Mom! Mom! Come to save you. Come to save you. I know Reggie's yelling down the stairs. Oh, yeah, mommy! She's going, Mom! Mommy! Mom, open it. You want some seaweed? Seaweed? <laughs> Hello, my beautiful angel. Mwah. Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! it. Do you want another tiger? I was gonna wear this jacket, guys, but Miller, she's like, Mom, this one's so much like mine. So I'm gonna wear twinsy one with her. Yeah. Cute. Hi! My dummy! You are your look, we look like little twinsies. I Miller saw it at the shop yesterday. She's like, I wanna get it. Because you looks fine. You look fine. fine. Yeah. You love yeah. this jumper when you first saw me get a hey. Come here. Yeah. Come here. Wiggy girl's not very happy today, guys. She's just been like such a mummy's girl, hey babe? Oh, yeah. Like if I do anything, like walk out of a room, she's just like, mom, and cries for me, which is hard when you're trying to balance. I want some. 
Seaweed? Okay. Seaweed. So hard trying to balance like work um, at the moment because Kurt's mum's away as well. So we've only got two days with them at daycare. So a lot of working has been happening when Regan's asleep and also like at night, early mornings, all those bits and pieces. But when she's awake, she's just like literally wanting to be on me, which is fine. You know, these phases happen and next week it'll be like all on dad or she'll just be like little miss independent, want to do things on her own. But at the moment it's mum, mum, mum. Kids are all outside on the jumping castle. I'm gonna make Cody and I a takeaway coffee to bring with us. I got this mug the other day, guys. I got it from Coles. Kurt was laughing at me, but I thought it was like the coolest thing ever because I don't really love drinking out of like the little takeaway cups. We've still got heats from our wedding, which we are trying to get through because we've just got them here anyway. So we've been using them from time to time, but I saw this one and I was like, this is so me. Oh, I can hear Regan screaming. Because it's like an actual, Ceramic, is that the word? Ceramic mug. But then it's got this little lid here on it. So, so when I got my walks in the morning, I've been bringing this with me, drinking it along the way, and then just like leaving it somewhere and then get back up on my walk back home. But so cute, it was literally just from Coles. And they're probably on sale now, because they were for Easter. <laughs> but I love the size of it as well. I was like, I'm gonna get this. It's got Winnie the Pooh on it. So cute. Um, you can also just use it as a normal mug and not use a top bit as well. Doesn't keep it warm though, like having this on. So you still have to drink it kind of fast, but it's such a nice size and not only that, but say like for the car, a normal mug will spill when you're like trying to drive and stuff like that. But if I'm going in the car, I'll bring this one with me. A, it's got the lid and B, I usually only fill it to like here. So it's just like got that wiggle room. I did forget to mention guys, only annoying thing about this mug is it doesn't fit under the coffee machine. So every time I need to make a coffee, I need to like make it in a mug and then transfer it so I have to dirty two dishes, but that's the only downside. All right, are we ready to go, my Barbie Joes? Yeah. Who made it? <laughs> Regan. Regan. Mommy we are okay, so excited for day get tomorrow. Hi. Okay, I'll come grab Reese. Just chuck it on my seat, baby. Alrighty, let's go. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay, we'll take your jumper off. We'll take your jumper off. It's actually tiny too, though. It's cold. It's nice. You like keeping it on. We can please hop off the road, guys. Reggie, little Thank rat bag. Oh my gosh. She did well the first half. Oh my god. <laughs> it's that little bit further away coming here. It's gonna be busy. School holidays. Yeah. Yeah. We love them. We'll get him some donuts first because he's starving. Yeah, let's get donuts. Are these ones donuts? Yeah. Please. Yep. Yeah, that's Can we can you get one for? I'm gonna get two now. So then you can share your milk and share one reading you have one and then I'll bro get you another one for the way home. Um, yeah, could I get um, two lots of those donuts in a cup, please? Do you love that? I'm a whole tight. You're a whole tight? Yeah, you got it. Uh, is this the only reason we drive away game? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Am I, are you saving me one? Mm. What? I don't, I don't mind. What? <laughs> to the table, like fell backwards. But she went straight into her head. She walked straight into it on her head. <gasps> Why are you too busy eating your donuts? <laughs> Are you alright? Are you okay? <laughs> You're tough, aren't you? Bonk your head. Bonk your head. <laughs> Is it nice? Oh, my bum's buzzing. My food must be ready. I'll show you. Look at this. Look. <laughs> what, is it? what is it? What is it? It's a buzzer. <laughs> Curdy and I got a toasted sandwich to share. Yeah, there's food on here still and it hasn't been cleaned off yet. That's okay. Hey Kurt, the kids want to ask you something. Can we have more donut balls? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe just get another two things because we're, oh my gosh, hang on a second, Reese's out to eat something else. Alright. Ah, uh, uh, yucky, yucky, Reese, yuck. Yeah. Yeah, yucky. Oh my gosh, she's trying to drink someone else's coffee. Regan, no. Come here, come here. Reese. Come here, come sit on my lap. Okay, walking across the table. Oh. Riga, you are a firecracker. 
She just cut, getting the spoon, like going to eat that coffee. Oh, and then oh. just walked across the table. Yum, yeah, what is that? It's cool. You wanna try some, Reedy? Yum. Yeah. And I'll get you some more donuts, okay? Yeah. I've done mine already. Oh, like did that trip on you? Yeah, that's the best one of those I've ever had. Yum. I've had some real like chili buns before. Darling. Yeah, so I think it's like two cheeses, two meats, and pickles. Mmm. So that pepper and stuff, pepper. Yum. Dad, do donkeys exist? Yeah. Lincoln said donkeys don't exist. Yeah, he's in the middle of magic. Can we go on the playground and play for a bit? No, yeah. look, magic. <laughs> that does not look very magical. <laughs> yeah, it does. Do you want to go in the playground then? Yeah. Ready? Do you want to go and play again? Yeah. Go. Can you come in there with us? Yeah, I'll come with you. Go, Riggy. Go, Riggy. Go, Riggy. Oh my God. Oh my God. You want to see if you know it too, then? Is it all proof? You just crossed. Oh, oh, oh. I think I got that. No. I'm pretty sure they do the chicken feeding at 10.30. So I can we go have a look around and then come back at 10.30 and hope for the best. Maybe. Maybe. Or maybe leave before then. Who knows? Oh, remember that was a dead right here last Oh my time. gosh, I do remember that. Yeah. It's so pretty. Oh, what is that hair? Still okay. It won't be there anymore. That was ages ago. It well, was maybe like a giant wild dog ate it. Because I'm pretty sure that... um. My tiger ate it or something. How you going, Riggs? Dad's on a work call, isn't he, guys? Obviously, have our new arrivals for each week. Hmm? Are we going to see any more animals? Yeah, down here, I think. I see the horses are there. Mel, I see the horses? Yeah, but where's the donkey? Oh, yeah, there was a donkey. That, he was only here because of the floods. So he was only here one time. Horse! Horsey! Horsey! See the horses? You should say, what's a horse, what's a horse say? Before it was rolling, mm. the fences aren't ideal, hey? They're either like electric or barbed wire. <laughs> oh, this is a nice way to start the day, isn't it? She'll be tired. She never wants to be carried by. I know. Can you read the sign, Miller? Beware of snakes. Yes. So we have to beware. We've got to keep our eyes like this. Yeah. When in Australia. <laughs> Um, are they ones that can make you dead? Yep, probably. Probably, yeah. Probably. What happened, babes? There was a big gap in the middle of the rock pathway and I slipped through it and I hurt everywhere. She did. She and hurt her knee, but you said your knee's not even really hurting that yeah, much. Yeah, but I bruised it really bad there. Yeah, Mila, you landed on a big rock. So yeah. you're going to have a sore leg. Yeah, just, just here. Yeah, baby. Where do you ring the doctor? <laughs> Come on, Link. And then Rigi was sympathy cuddling you, hey? Yeah. Monkey see, monkey do. I'll help you. I'll help you. Thanks, doll. <laughs> You're on my back. <laughs> you singing? <laughs> Rigi, don't lean back. <laughs> you have to make a wish. When it falls to the bottom, we have to yep. share. Yep, that's it. Did you make a wish, Mel? Yeah. Yep. Do you want to throw one in? Do you want to throw one in, Riggs? Yes, what I make a wish, Riggs? Yes, what my wish was. You tell us or it won't come true. When you die, you go to heaven and then you can be a fairy. What happens? It's like, yeah, because like, you never die because you can go to heaven and then she's a fairy. No, oh, you have to be an angel. I'm going to feed them. Also, this bag. Here you go. All right, guys, we are home. I feel like we got home and it was just like mad rush to give Riggy some lunch and get her down for her sleep in time. But I thought that I would address the whole book situation because I've had so many messages coming through about it. So there's 
quite a few reasons why I've decided not to publish the book for now I should say because you never know I might rewrite it in the future or maybe one day you know who, kn who knows what the future holds first reason is I feel like when I was writing the book I was emotionally in a very different place to where I am at now I feel like now I I'm at a place of acceptance. I feel like I really accept where I'm at. I accept, you know, what's happened has happened. And being completely honest as well, I feel like I'm not as angry. I feel like at the start I was really angry. Um, and I feel like I've let go of a lot of those feelings that I was holding on to. Even though in the book nothing is malicious, it is literally just my own story. I am not wanting to upset or hurt anyone. I don't want to put anyone in an uncomfortable position and I don't want to make anyone's life miserable. Like I honestly don't. I think whatever has happened to me has happened to me. Another reason is because there would be big consequences. <laughs> Another thing about writing it is it honestly was the most therapeutic, amazing thing for me to do. I feel like it was also very validating of my feelings and you know, it's just nice to get it all out and on paper. I just feel like it'll start so much drama. I do not have the emotional energy for it anymore. I'm at a place where I'm really wanting to like move on and get on with everything and just kind of move forward through it all. Um, and I feel like with things like that, it just kind of pulls you 10 steps back in one way so yeah I feel like there's ways that I can still make a huge impact and really help other people without um, also putting my own emotional peace at stake anyways guys I'm gonna go get some work done now while Riggy girl is down sleeping and hopefully have a nice little afternoon with the kids